Oh, Lord. What did I have to sprain my ankle now when there is so much to do for Christmas? I haven't gotten the house decorated. The tree has some problems. I haven't gotten the nativity scene out yet. And Christmas is just a couple of days away. And I couldn't even go to the Christmas program this evening to see my grandchildren. about the program. The church was so beautiful of all the decorations. Kelsey? The pine tree was orange and the cookies were delicious. Hey, Jackson. Where's Jackson? <laughs> right there. You I can't it. see my Jackson. <laughs> How was the program? Good. Good. Anything else you can say about it? Our teacher gave us gifts. My teacher gave us gifts, even some candy. Lainey? I really like the Christmas movie. Is that all? Oh yeah, the poster is beautiful. But I meant... Mother, we were so sorry. Grandma, we were so sorry you could not come to our Christmas program. But we have a surprise for you. A surprise? Yes. yes. We'll be right back. We'll be right okay. Back in a minute. Baby. <laughs> The tree, cookies, punch, candy, gifts, they really don't understand the real story of Christmas, do they? How sad. I want to tell you the real story of Christmas that we learned in Sunday school. A long time ago, there was a man, man named Joseph. He he was he was a car he was a kind and gentle man. He was a carpenter. He was in love with a girl named Mary, who he was going to marry. Mary was a young girl before she married Joseph. An angel came to her and said that she was going to have a baby, a boy. She would name him Jesus. Mary was afraid, but the angel said, fear not. Mary didn't understand, but she trusted God. Later three wise men came from Far they follow the bright star to the stable in Bethlehem. After Mary and Joseph. After Mary, Mary and Joseph were married, they had to make they had to take a long trip to Bethlehem to pay their taxes. Mary rode on the donkey most of the time. Mary would soon have a baby. Joseph was worried, but Mary said, "Don't worry, Joseph. God will take care of us." Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem. There were a lot of people there. The innkeeper didn't have a room, but he would let them sleep in his stable. The counter donkey slept in the stable and ate clean hay. And their body their body heat was warm for Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. The baby is 
born. They called him Jesus like the angel said. Mary and Joseph. They know it's a very special baby. He's a son of God. Mary laps him up, puts him in a box where the animals sleep. There are this. There are shepherds in the field that it is cold and lonely at night. Then an angel appears out of nowhere telling them a baby is born in Bethlehem. He would be their savior. The shepherd said, let us go to see this baby. There they found him in the manger at the stable. Later, three wise men came from far. They followed the bright star to the stable in Bethlehem. They bowed before the baby and give, gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The birth of Jesus was the first Christmas. And that is the real story of Christmas. You do know the real story. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas, grandchildren. Merry Christmas. May Christ be in your This is the story of one beginning of one life that has such influence as it did today, as it did when he burst forth into the lives of men. This one solitary life. He was born in an obscure village. He worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. He then became an itinerant preacher. He never held an office. He never had a family or owned a house. He didn't go to college. He had no credentials but himself. Nineteen centuries have come and gone, and today he is the central figure of the human race. All the armies that ever marched and all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that that ever sat in all the kings that ever reigned have not affected the life of man on earth as such, much as the, that one solitary life. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you. today but anyway I'd like to uh, tell everyone that I uh, thank God every day for all these children and I thank you for sharing them with me thank you